Okay, so you have the hard work done of filling out um, the table with the L2 and the L1 words. So now it's going to be time to answer the short answer response question. So the question is, what is the overall tone of the passage? Use evidence from the text to support your understanding. Okay, so I'm going to use my L2s, right? I'm going to use these and use the L1s to actually answer this question. So remember, we're always going to start with a topic sentence. And the purpose of a topic sentence is to answer the question. And then, just like with the images we worked with, we're going to wrap it up. So we're going to have an L2, an L1, and then another L2. Now remember that we've been color coding these to ensure that we get everything that we need. And I always do my L2s in red. And I do my L1s in blue. Okay. And that's just to help me check myself and make sure that I've gotten what I need. Okay. Within the topic sentence, we want to use, try to use two L2 words. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with that. And we're going to use the language of the question in our answer. So, The tone of the passage is, let's see, um, I like agony, one of pain and agony, I think both of those will work, is one of pain and agony. Okay, so let's look. Am I answering the question? Yes, it's asking the tone. Do I think that the tone brings a feeling of pain and agony? Yes. Okay, pain is an L2. Agony is an L2. So I'm going to do those in red. Okay, so once you get that done, you'll be ready to move on to your first wrap.